So welcome back and if it's your first time here, welcome to the channel. On today's Two Minute Case Reviews, we've got the Sheath by Kodabe. I've heard a lot about this case. I mean, a lot of people have been praising it, so I thought I'd better get it on the channel and see what it's about, review it, etc. First look of the inside, we can see you've got that little MagSafe ring with some Kodabe branding at the bottom, serial number and some text. It's quite a thin case, to be fair. And then in terms of design, there's not much really to it. It's just a textured back with a glossy line running through the top and running around the camera housing. And then your little Kodabe branding at the bottom. But let's see how it fits on the phone and uh, see if we like it. So first thing I can say is this case is super tight on the device, which is a good thing because you know your device won't fall out of the case. It's definitely keeping it in there. Very nice. Buttons, buttons are super tactile. I think it's because it's got this groove on the sides here for the buttons, so it does allow for a nice, nice click. Cutouts for the bottom, very open, no issues there. Should be able to plug any cable you want in. And then for speakers and microphone, precise cutouts as well. As you can see, the bottom doesn't have that textured material that we have on the back and the sides. I'm not sure why that is, but yeah, it is like that. Um, cutouts for the mute toggle switch also fairly open so that's nice it's a very slim case as you can see it's fairly like quite slim on the phone even when you're holding it you can tell you don't get much of a lip for face down drops I mean even I've got a tempered glass screen protector on the phone as I was recommend for anyone but yeah you don't get that much protection on the face down drops but I mean they're probably trying to keep it quite slim so I can see why that is and then you get a little bit of protection for the camera housing which is also good and then this is a dome glass protector it's a camera protector by Whitestone that I've got on there links for the case and that will be in the description box below so if you do decide you want one go check it out I think the case retails for about $35 but of course price can fluctuate and change so bear that in mind but overall it's a nice grippy case, very uh, nice grippy texture on the back compared to other cases. I do like it, whether it will be my number one, I'm not sure. Might have to test it against other cases that I've got, like the mouse ones. So stay tuned for them videos on the channel. Subscribe if you want to see more videos and like the video if you liked it. Appreciate you watching it and I'll catch you guys on the next one.